Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And today I have for you the finished jewelry update of Softflex's really cute kit, Summer Rain. And uh, so I made several necklaces, two necklaces, three pair of earrings and a bracelet. And I did use new techniques that I learned at summer camp with Jesse James beads. So I'll be talking about that. The first uh, necklace I want to show you is this three strand necklace, which um, is one of the projects we did at camp, not with these beads, but um, we had a class taught by Thunder Horse Descendant and her name is Randy Brown and she's fabulous. And she did an illusion necklace that was three strands. So I wanted to play around with that idea more while I was working on this necklace for the summer rain. So it's really cute. I've used the soft flex wire in two colors. I've got this pretty dark color that came in the mix and I, gosh, I don't remember the name of it, but I will, I will list it in my description. And then I used a turquoise one that I had just so I could have some variety in the, um, colors of the self flux wire and then uh, basically it's doing little sections of beads with crimp crimp beads so here's the focal I put that cute little disco ball and one of the big faceted blue beads that was in the mix and these really pretty frame beads and I put some check drooks and then I put these cute rondelles and then crimped and then made another little section with the twisty check beads the rondelles and more crimps and then the hematite looking uh, rectangular beads with more crimps so that was strand one and then strand two i did um i took the this was a button actually a tiara cast button that I wire wrapped back here and made it into a drop. So that's a good idea if you if you have a button and you don't want to use it as a button. Um, I know a lot of people use them as closures for um, bracelets. You can make a focal bead, which is what I did here. And then I love these rectangular beads that they always have and so on and so forth, a little teardrop look like raindrop granite looking beads these are some little seed beads I had just laying around and I just wanted to kind of mimic raindrops and even the little um, crimp beads look like raindrops you know how rain kind of sits on string and just kind of sparkles so it kind of adds to the sparkle and then this is the most elaborate one I did. Turned out really neat. I used that really pretty sparkly boho bead and I put some more of the dagger beads and this really pretty, very subtle blue uh, check bead and the really cool twisty blue beads and the fire polished blue beads and then just did some little twists at the top. So all together, it's just a really cute necklace and it's very light, but I think you definitely get the idea of rain, um, raindrops and even the spring flowers that come from the raindrops. So that was a lot of fun to take that technique and run with it with some different beads um, than from camp. Um, and I will be showing videos of camp. I'm still working on some projects from camp. I'm trying to finish some up uh, and then uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, the class that Randy Brown did was great. All the classes were fabulous. Um, and then over here, I did some earrings. So these are some lava beads and I had some little shell beads in my stash. I used more of the soft flex wire 
and some of the little crystal rondelles. And then over here, I love these teardrop beads so much. And I put those with some really pretty faceted beads that they had in the mix. And then again, playing with the idea of raindrops, I was mimicking the shapes of raindrops with my, with my wire, as you can see. And these are these, those really pretty twist beads with all the different variations of color. I just love those. And then the really pretty pearl drops um, in that almost hematite color. And of course, more check beads and those really cool twisted oval metal beads. And I will pull these down so you can take a closer look uh, once we're finished. Um, and then my bracelet, this is another piece that I utilized some techniques I learned in summer camp. This is um, all wire that I wrapped. It's 20 gauge wire. We did a wire class with Wyatt White and he's the wire master. So we learned all different techniques. We made a bracelet, how to wrap it and then make little interesting little doodads how to make a little spirals at the top of your, oops, I'm trying to, <laughs> hang on, it's trying to go run away from me. Uh, yeah, see that little spiral up there? He showed us how to do that. And um, I used a lobster claw clasp, but he did show us how to make a your own clasp. I haven't mastered that quite yet, so I went with a lobster claw clasp this time. Um, another really pretty tiara cast drop. Uh, at the edge of this bead here, a little dangle. And then um, another beautiful bead that I wanted to feature. So on this side, it's got this little kink piece in it, but I love the little spiral that I did. And this is all wire wrapping we learned. This one's got another kind of fancy wrap with spirals. Hope you can see that. Little spirals. Yeah, and I just played with the spirals in the wire wrapping. We learned how to do some cabochons too, which was amazing. So this was my my second piece I tried to make with some of these techniques that I learned in camp, and I thought it turned out nicely. And I really enjoy making bracelets this way. I'm I'm used to <laughs> he doesn't want to cooperate. Um, I'm used to just stringing, but literally you take the wire and you, you wrap it. I'll have to do a little tutorial of what I'm talking about, but you, you take the wire, you wrap it around the bead and then you add another wrap and then you add the other bead. So you're really just kind of connecting as you go. As you can see, each bead is connected by wire. There's no, um, beading wire. It's all this 20 gauge uh, wire, which is so fun to play with when you have lots of it. And that's kind of the key. You use a lot of it because you want to have plenty of room to um, play around with like the little spirals and things like that. But since we had a rain theme going, I was trying to make extra little doodads as if you know, like little rain puddles places it was kind of my going on in my brain when I was making this. And then um, I have a last necklace, which I did some really cool techniques with uh, that I'm going to be doing some tutorials on. And I'm going to put that up next and we will talk about that. Okay, so this necklace wins the most fun to make necklace award of the month <laughs> because I got to use so many different techniques and everything was just so amazing and cute. Um, first of all, we got this piece, which is made out of wood. It came in the kit. It was not painted. I took acrylic paint and different wood color and different blue colors and I made a little thundercloud and then I added some rhinestones 
So this is one of my tutorials where I've been talking about how to make your own focals. So we're gonna explore that further. And then I wanted it to look like it was raining, of course, from the thundercloud. So we have the twisty beads. And of course, I wanted to show off the soft flex wire, which is always so awesome and has gorgeous colors. A little disco ball down there. And then you got a little flower charm, of course. And then, you know, Froggy had to hang out. I mean, he had to be featured. <laughs> Uh, you know, I love the critter beads. They crack me up. I get very jovial over anything that looks like a little little creature. So um, I'm calling him Toby, because we also have to name them. So Toby's hanging out under his thundercloud, which was really fun to paint and literally was not hard at all. It was just a matter of not doing too much to it. I used several different colors, as you can see, and it was just a very simple technique with the brush. And we will be exploring wood pieces and painting more uh, in some other tutorials. So be looking for that. And then I just basically used a lot of the beads in the mix. I loved those rondelles with the um, kind of teal blue. And of course, the rhinestone rondelles, the twist beads were gorgeous. And then you had those crackle beads, of course, those look like they're wet almost. And um, more of those big twisty silver beads and the check beads up at the top. So that turned out really nice. And I just had a blast. I had a blast painting this and I love how it turned out. I think it's really unique. And um, I, I love to see what people have done with the with this cloud piece and everybody did something different. And, and it all worked out, all of it was gorgeous. Some people I think painted them, uh, I'm trying to think. Other people left them as wood, which was fine. I mean, they were really, it's a pretty piece. I love all the movement in it. And um, so, but I, I decided to go hog wild with the paint because I am also a, a painter. I love to do mixed media art. So that kind of tickled my mixed media art button right there. So Toby hanging out at the rain cloud uh, and I just love it. So this was a really fun kit, I have to say. And um, I'm going to take these down, uh, the earrings down, so you can take a look a little bit closer at how I put them together. I've had people ask me to do that. And I'm always happy if you have a suggestion, you want to see something closer, um, let me know. Because I want you to enjoy these videos and I want you to get out of them um, what you want to get out of them, which is maybe learn something new or get inspired. So I'll be right back. I'm going to pull these earrings down so we can take just a closer look and I'll probably pull this necklace down too so we can get another view of it. Okay so here's some more close-up looks of the um, let's see if we can do it. There we go. Hope that's better. There's a close-up of that cloud piece. Let me pull some light down here. Boy, those, those rhinestones really sparkle. Um, those are just basically glued on with a little bit of jewelry glue. Uh, and then there's the drops I made. And I literally just used crimp beads. Um, I used a little crimp tool that makes them look round. So I did not use crimp covers on this. And then um, I didn't get as elaborate with the back, of course, because I knew that the back was going to be it's still got a lot of detail, but um, I just usually, I just added a jump ring to it with a bale to hang it. And um, and it's a very light piece too. It's not heavy, but I, I really like the way that turned out. I'll give you a closer view. So 
So I was thinking about doing a little bit of silver paint on there, but um, you know, that's kind of the nice thing about painting something. And if I, if I felt like I didn't like this, you know, you can always paint over it. Um, so just don't be afraid to try to do something like that. Um, these were literally craft paints, acrylic paints from uh, Michael's, I believe, uh, in the little tubes. I'm trying to see if I have one near me that I can show you. Um, I don't. But when I do the... Oh, never mind. Here's, oh, here's one. I don't know that I used this color, but this is what I'm talking about. Um, it's just acrylic paint. They come in tons of colors. I don't think they're that much money. And then if you have a coupon, you know, depending where you go, they're real cheap. And um, water soluble, they're non-toxic. So experiment. I, I really, I highly recommend doing that. And then, like I said, there's gonna be some tutorials coming up where I'll show you what I'm doing. Now the earrings, here's a closer view of those. Um, I did use French ear wires here that are nickel free and cadmium free uh, for sensitive ears. And um, basically I just looped these and then looped again and then I connected with a crimp bead. And uh, these are just a real simple drop on some French ear wires. But I think these beads are so stunning. I, I don't feel like you have to do much with them. And then these were kind of an experiment. I like the way they turned out. Um, I was going for the teardrop, you know, raindrop shape again. And then I love the texture of the lava beads. And I think these little spacer beads came in my stash. So that's a closer up, uh, close up of the earrings. So you can see how I put them together. And of course my little cloud focal bead, which turned out great. And, um, and then also, oh, also, you didn't see this because it was on the display, but I put this really pretty toggle clasp that I had from um, Bargain Bead Box to kind of pick up a little bit of a floral element. So, uh, yeah. So I, I think all in all, you know, um, I got to play with some new techniques, which I was really excited about. That's probably the most exciting thing about this collection. The product that they gave us just lent itself so beautifully to playing. Um, got to play with wire and paint and crystals. And I just, it was just a lot of fun. I enjoyed working with this immensely. Um, but I always love the Softlux kits. And of course, as you know, the beads are a curation from Jesse James Beads for Softlux for their kits. So I have their newest kit that I gotta work on now. Um, so I'm gonna have to get cracking on that. But um, let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have some tutorials coming up on doing things like that. Making pieces really your own. So if that interests you, please let me know. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you. And those of you who are subscribed and are following me and encouraging me and getting inspiration, just love you to pieces. I'm so happy to have you. And, uh, you know, click that notification bell if you haven't already so you know when I come up with the next video. And take care of yourselves and your families. Be safe, be healthy, be happy, and I will see you on the next video. What are you doing, little girl? <laughs> and what are you doing? What are y'all doing? Hey, Ginger, what are you doing? Did you scare your sister away? Where'd she go? What are y'all doing? You look like you're up to something. What are you up to? Are you up to something? Ginger. Ginger. Ginger mischief. Oh, sha sha. Did you just grouch at mama? Uh oh.
Are you gonna come here? <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. <laughs> uh oh.